Right, so where were we? Back again, ready for action. Just straighten up the camera a bit. Okay, let's check that. Okay, okay, ready for action. Uh, back again. And uh, now I've got to try and remember where I was. So let's have a look. Just put those down, I don't need to hang on to those. Okay, so we're doing all the lightest bits still. Just working our way across here. I've got a little bit kind of down here. It's a bit light here. And then we've got all this light back here, but it's got kind of it's got kind of dusty look to it. So I'm gonna put it in and then we'll just blend it back a bit. I think that's that's the best way to do it, I think. And we've got all these little strips here to do as well. So I'll just put these in. It's a little bit of a sharpen up since, since I was last here with you. It's all right in here. More subdued that bit there in the back. The dark bit, the light bit. Yeah, okay, got a bit lost there. This does happen. Really have to pay attention. What's going on here? This is a bit too far down here, that's dark there, so we'll, we'll have a go at that. That's that bit there.
This is this bit here, this straggly bit. Exactly, we just need to get the effect there, which we will do. And we'll just put the green in there. We can darken this a little under here. Just gives it a base. That green is just giving it a base here in this area. said we don't want him to look like he's been to the hairdressers so gotta be a bit careful there to just be aware of that where it's going to end. Do about there. That's going through the back there nicely. And that's kind of going on like that really. And then we've got a bit coming like that. orange behind there so we'll just leave it at that and uh, yeah. get some orange streaks in there of really black here to get those in properly. There's more black here and there's just tiny little streaks of orange.
bit of orange in here, which is kind of coming up here actually. If you look at the corner here, so the corner would be about here. And we've got the orange, got a dark there, and then the orange comes through. is much more curved and taller. There. And then we can add the oranges in over the black. So yeah, I want to get this black a bit blacker. So just circular motions here would be fine. Just get some more pastel on there. Gentle now. Not hard anymore. Just gentle. We'll leave those marks in there because they'll they'll be useful. We'll just we could just go over them in black and then they'll blend nicely in. But they're a lot, you know, hardly you can hardly see on it really. Still pressing very gently, very gently indeed. Just get the pastel on there, make it really black. Clearly, just carrying on up there, and so we want this in a more sort of straighter fashion, really, like that. The top there, curved to the bottom. I can just see some black hairs going over this bit of the back here, although it's darker, so I want to get a bit more orange in there before I do anything like that. And this, what we'll do with this, we'll just smooth it out a bit before we get the next lot of colour on it. Just smooth it out, just blend it all, blend it all over that, because that's going to be silver. And that. Yeah, there are bits of green in there, but it's hardly noticeable, so I'm just going to do that. And that over there. Very gently, I'm not pushing in hard. I'm not pushing hard at all. Let's get this nice and this nice dark bit in there. It's not a hard line, it's fluffy, so do it fluffy. And there's another straight line coming through here. Again, it's fluffy. 
And then we've got some nice streaky bits coming through there. There as well, just go through there. Just get my colour shaper and blend a bit of that green in there too, I think. While we're at it, let's make sure it's clean. Just wipe it on paper towel here. And then put my fingers. It's not such a vital, it's not such a vital area. Just see if you can get the green right in there. Very gently. And in here. It's in the background. That's it, that's all that we need to do there. Some bright green in there. Save the bright green. I do set. as well. That's more the colour. Just those two mixed together. Very nice. Greens down. Don't worry, I'm not going back there. Promised you, promised you I wouldn't, didn't I? Yeah, well, it's all done now, so we can leave it. Okay, so we've got these, left a couple of bits out here. We need to take a bit of this pencil off, I think.
some green colors in here. There's a white streak going across there. I want to leave that and then do them do them white, I think. I like that. I want to do some white streaks in there. Okay, so we've got these. These are going to be blended with the orange and the pink. along here. They're going to have some colour on those. direction of hairs here, they're going up here, this way. I'm going to blend this in here somehow so make it darker but very gently because it's kind of, the hairs are over the dark but it's, it's quite really in a way, there's not a massive amount of really dark stuff in there but the hairs need to show up when they go over it. This softens everything out, it's beautiful.
it's very dark. We need to go into the direction of the hairs at this point because we know that it's all going around here. Um, we don't want any kind of sharp edges like that, so we can soften those over like that. We don't want anything blunt on the end here. It's all very dark looking, isn't it? softer around the edge. We've got to make this darker before we start going around on the back there. Just to get off the edge. Cream off first because that's, that's strawberry blonde, isn't it? Really, there strawberry blonde version on ginger. Right, just need a sharper point on here just to do that little bit in the corner there. just before that. Just about like that. There, it's rounded. Okay. Then Let's see if we can get this colour right in here, while we're here. And this bit here, it's got a very fine Sorry about that, I have to lean across to get the exact position of that. Yeah, it's coming out a bit there. And that's coming like that. see what it looks like with the orange in it. Then that's orange going right over the background. There. That's it. Okay, let's get some orange ready, but only streaks. And I'm going to 
shop up here. And we want streaks of colour in here. Then we're going to go over it with the colour shaper, I think. Let's see what that does. I don't want a block of colour in there. Because that's his, you know, that's, that's his hair. So looking at the direction of hairs. I've got a nice hair coming through there, which we've already got on. And here. You can clearly see them in this picture. It's very clear. Yeah. I'll go over the back line there. Down there. I don't want to put black lines on here yet because I'll make it muddy looking. Mm. Gotta get this colour in first. Then do add it. Okay. So that's that. And then we've got hairs here that just go right over. There. It's a bit strong in there. Put that in again. And look at how close that is to his nose. Very close. Very nice little patch of colour. And here. This is coming. See, this is coming out more. Need a bit more green in there. It's quite a light green. So I'm going to look at my green colours I use for the background now. Where are they? Why do I do those? Banish them. Banish them away. 